Hey everyone, I'm in New Orleans today, and uh, today I have a Mango Lime Ricky. Now, just the name of it alone makes me think this is going to be awesome. But, I have had the Cherry Lime Ricky from Arizona before, and honestly, I wasn't very impressed with it. In fact, I found it just flat out disgusting, and I couldn't finish the uh, can of it. One of the tall cans like this also. And that's really disappointing. It seems like a lot of the things that Arizona does that isn't maybe a sweet tea or something like that, it seems to be really a hit or miss. And most of them for me has been miss. But I love the artwork. Look at, look at how intricate everything is on here. And you have your uh, mangoes up top here and uh, your limes thrown in at the bottom there. And look at just, look at, Look at everything here. There's a Brooklyn Bridge, Brooklyn Original. Really neat. Sparkling Mango Lime. Um, all right, let me read the ingredients real quick. Uh, I love the ingredients, too, if I, except for one item, high fructose corn syrup. But still, carbonated filtered water, high fructose corn syrup, mango puree, pear, pear, pear juice sorry, from concentrate, citric acid, lime juice from concentrate, Natural flavor, absorbic acid, vitamin C, vegetable vegetable juice for color, and uh, sucralose, asulfame, asulfame, asulfame. I'm sorry, that's a tough word to spell or to pronounce. Asulfame and potassium gum, acacia, and ester gum. Aside from the last five or six things, there's a lot of really good things in here. I mean, you're talking about mango puree and pear juice and lime juice, and this should taste really good. The cherry one didn't. The cherry lime ricky did not taste good at all. So, I really do like mango, and I really do like the cherry limeades and stuff like that. It smells all right. Immediately, you can look at it and see that's a really natural. Look how... Uh, milky colored the uh, water is how or not milky um, I guess foggy that's a good word how foggy the water is uh, really thick looking soda um, looking down at it I'm actually seeing uh, seeing some sediment and stuff like that which is really good makes me think I should have maybe uh, stirred that up a little bit before I opened it but uh, I'll give it another try here I'll I'll do a little stirring just to be fair pour a little bit more I don't know how much that's going to affect anything, but I just want to be sure. Very orange looking. Uh, actual, actually, really natural orange looking. Like a mango. Exactly the same color as a mango. Let's see. You know something? That's better. The cherry lime Ricky I had that day didn't taste anything like this. This, is, this tastes really good. The mango completely overpowers uh, any bad flavor I had from before on the last uh, Lime Ricky that I tried from Arizona. It's a weaker carbonation level, which you kind of assume with the um, Arizona drinks because they make so much juice and stuff like that. That thing contains 10% juice, but a lot of really natural ingredients and it pays off. This is a really good one. I do like it. I don't know how much I can drink of it. But you have a little bit of lime. Uh, and after the fact, you have the tartness of the lime sticking around. The uh, mango overpowers a lot of the drink. Which is fine with me. I like mango. You can tell it's, some, it's real. You can tell everything about this is real. And I like that. I really appreciate that. As long as it tastes good. <laughs> Um, I've had some things that were supposed to be real, like the Cherry Lime Ricky, that did not taste good. This tastes a lot better. Uh, maybe it's easier to get a natural flavor from a mango than it is a cherry. Probably so. Uh, maybe that's why there's a lot of, uh, cherry punches and stuff like that. There's not too much mango punch. Usually just mango juice, you know. Uh, I like that. Um, it can, I can see where it would get tiring after a while. I don't think I could drink more than one of these. I'd probably get tired of it if I drank one every other day or every two or three days or something. I would say my verdict on this is buy a bottle or buy a can. 
I guess they only come in cans, but buy a bottle of it. It's uh, it's good. It's good. And if you like, you have to like mango though. If you don't like mango, don't even bother. But if you like mango, uh, you see this anywhere. This is a little harder to find than cherry lime, Ricky. If you see that anywhere, uh, hang on, let me get the label right there. Um, usually every five or six places I see a cherry lime, Ricky, I'll see one of those beside it. So it's like a one out of five shot that you're going to find that if they have the cherry lime, Ricky, there. Um, and I still see it around from time to time. I picked that up a little time ago, but I still see it around. So, um, if you think you'll like it, if you like mango, check that out. If you like this video, follow me on Twitter at Soda underscore Hunter. Facebook.com slash Soda Hunter. Kevin, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment. Be sure to follow the Soda Jerks on Twitter at the Soda Jerks. And uh, check out their website for hundreds more reviews at SodaJerks.net. And until next time, happy hunting.